So here it is. Welcome to the reverie. Today seems like 2020 has just dragged on and on and it seems overwhelming but what I want to do is look at 2020 in a meditation. There have been a variety of challenges, a variety of obstacles and just an overwhelming sense that this year is a failure. However, if we look at the idea that humanity grows out of strife, out of struggle, out of conflict, then 2020 is a year where many of us could have grown. I know that many of us feel alone, many of us feel like we're separated from our loved ones, many of us feel just distant from much things, but the world around us is not hopeless. The the environment is improving, uh, waters are clearing up, people are finding new ways to interact and socialize. There are countless different opportunities to find new ways to adjust and adapt. And that is what it means to be human, is to adapt and learn how to grow. Um, while 2020 has been one of challenge, both financially, fiscally, many people are running out of apartments. It's also been a time of opportunity to help our fellow man. One, to benefit and bolster the idea that humanity is good. There's something we can do to benefit our neighbor, our friends, our family. And while in the midst of all this hopelessness there is hope, there is always hope and there always will be because there will always be people like you, like those listening to this video that need to hear this, that people are good. That there is goodness in the world out there and there are things that we can do to end this year on a good note, such as giving to charity, donating the food, um, programs that feed the homeless, that feed families, that even if you don't have money or food to donate, just sending a note to a friend or family member saying that you love them, that you remind them even though they're not near, they're still near in your heart. These are all things that we can do. So let's end 2020 on a good note. And with that, I will see you guys on another video.